Yo, what's good guys? It's your boy ATB Selfmade back at y'all with another video. Hey, today I'm um, doing a video on some more political stuff, right? So I hope you guys are still with me on that because it's important. If you're new, you know what to do, man. Go ahead and drop that sub. This content we are reacting to today is by Liberal Hive Minds, right? And um, I guess supposedly even CNN's had enough of uh, Kamala's shit. So let's go ahead and get this video started. Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant Liberal Hive Minds, thank you for the content, brother. Hypocrisy of the left. Alright, so new day, same question. Where the heck is Kamala Harris? Kamala, come out, come out, wherever you are. That's what the people are saying. You're running for the damn presidency, don't you think you ought to address the nation? Answer some tough questions? Now here's my question. <laughs> right on cue. Um, are you guys still voting for Kamala? <clears throat> um, you know, I hope everybody that was giving me flag for voting for Trump, I hope you guys are going to keep that same energy. Well, apparently not, and it's really no surprise why. The mainstream media is doing what the mainstream media does best, bringing on a bunch of Democrat clowns to defend Kamala Harris's position, <laughs> or I guess her actions or lack thereof. But what they're saying obviously makes absolutely no sense. Let's have a conversation about it, and of course, highlight the actual- That's right, keep moving, Elon Trump, Tulsi, RFK Jr. Oh my god, they on you. They on you truth why Kamala Harris is so freaking scared and why she's trying to duck these debates. It's actually pretty simple and we have some video evidence to prove it. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. Let's go. Alright folks, so like I said, the media is doing what the media always does, <laughs> gaslighting you into oblivion. I'd say it's a pretty <laughs> standard, pretty straightforward request that somebody running for president ought to answer questions and do public interviews, but apparently it's only press and insiders that care about this issue. Keisha, I mean, you know Kamala Harris, well, I mean, she's done press conferences, she's done interviews. Uh, I mean, some of this, I think, is trying to stay on message, right? And something Trump has had, had some trouble with. I believe this is only an insider com conversation. Obviously, those in the media may want to see her do an interview, and, a, and insiders are talking about her sitting down to do an interview. But I can tell you, in the hundreds of people that I've talked to about this campaign, not one person has mentioned having a care about whether or not she sits down to do an interview. And I do believe that will happen in due time. I mean, holy friggin' moly, how wrong. Can You're only running for the presidents of the United States, man. You gotta prove your claim. You know, you gotta prove your notion or whatever you wanna say, I don't know. Did I put that together correctly? I don't know, you tell me. Can one human being be? Not exactly sure, but this person is certainly pushing the known thresholds of dishonesty. It's only the elite Republican press that care about Vice President Kamala Harris doing interviews. Give me a break, you mean the press that's 90 plus percent Democrat shills? It's Damn. only them who care? That's facts though. No, most of those insiders and press people are the ones defending Kamala Harris. You know, once again, you got these Democrats treating the American people as if they're stupid. What an utter insult, as if we don't know the truth. I mean, for people- Super slap in the face. Pete's sakes, even I'm some Democrat shills in Hollywood <laughs> can admit the clear reality. Sometimes it's just about winning, and it doesn't matter how we look right. at this moment. It's about- No way. Winning. So basically, sell your, um, your dignity. Take your tail, basically. Right. This is about f winning. Yep. No, it is. It's no. a mad f dash, and she is running, and she's not stopping to f no. stumble. And you know what? And there's nothing wrong with I, stopping this. I'm going to vote for her f anyway, no matter what she says in a stupid f interview. Exactly. That's freaking tough. Exactly. So don't shit up you're right i couldn't be more on that page <laughs> yeah i'd say it's pretty obvious not only to republicans but even to lifelong democrats that the strategy here is to hide kamala harris because she's currently ahead of the polls and they're hoping to ride this momentum straight to the election they don't want to jeopardize their momentum by having kamala harris speak that's the obvious reality 
and everybody knows it, but these shills continue. If it's not one DNC shill telling you that actually the people don't care about Kamala Harris doing public interviews, it's just the press, it's another Democrat shill telling you that you're actually crazy, that it's a made-up <laughs> issue, and Kamala Harris is doing all kinds of public events and speaking directly to the voters. She had to build that capacity. She also just chose her vice presidential, uh, her vice president as a running hang mate. Hang on, hang on. The she's, press she's was not her top priority. Down. We're talking about the vice president of the United States. She's been preparing to be president for allegedly for she's three and a half years. She's also been doing a lot of interviews so, as vice so, president. So, so how I mean, I don't know. Therefore, she should have been able to do an interview on the first day. Why isn't it's she? Not, not? It's not a question of ability. It is one of campaign measures. No, it's more. She doesn't want to answer. How much she needs to she be doesn't want to answer for the, the fact that she she was against fracking. She she's was against private insurance. Bro, she's taking all Trump's ideals and stuff. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if she didn't put one of these on. It's ridiculous, bro. Stealing all his ideals and shit, man. It's in, you know, now she wants to build a wall. You know, after letting, I don't know, 15, 20 million of them in. I hate to say it like that, but yeah, that's what it is. You feel me? In ways she was that against immigrants, my bad. Hours, and she doesn't want to talk where about they are it. and having those conversations every day. She, she she's talking about it to the people who actually cast talk votes about in November. She, she, and she should do an interview. I'm just politically saying, Brad, and, and you, you have to know that I mean, it hasn't she, been that bad. And she will do one. She, it, and she will do one. It is coming. She'll show up at NPR somewhere like that, but she's not going to take... No, we shouldn't have to wait that long, bro. You're all, you only want our votes. We shouldn't have to wait that long for an interview, bro. She's going to show up on a network, and she's going to have a sit-down conversation. She has already said, her campaign has already said that that's going to happen. If you're waiting for the it's day... A month. Is waiting it's for the a day. month. She's actually on the... Take a breath. The ground she's doing bus tours across the state of georgia she is talking to the she's voters the, last the voters one the are going to make it. this decision what an absolute farce these people always show exactly who they are dishonest propagandists they're just straight up liars and you know what okay go for it you know i find it frustrating frankly i find it disgusting that they're doing this but at the same time they're totally exposing themselves the same people who talk about transparency and accountability the same people who criticize donald trump for playing golf are now here again vehemently defending another their basement candidate. Another Democrat too scared to face the heat, and more insultingly, too scared to face the American people, and they expect these BS justifications to pass. I don't know about you guys, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Because most people have an IQ above room temp. Yeah, my ain't having it, bro. I'm sorry. It's a whole lot of people stepping up, bro, right now. It's a whole lot of people waking up. And Trump's out here flipping Democratic states <laughs> into Republican. Insane. You have zero chance. It's uh, it's too big to rig, like, um, okay, Ricky says. It's too big to rig. Temperature, and we can see what's really going on here. It's obvious why Kamala Harris doesn't want to do interviews, and more specifically, doesn't want to do interviews that aren't complete softball interviews. Mostly because, well, Kamala Harris tends to fall apart when put in a position of Facts. explaining very simple concepts. On a different front, uh, Axios this week reported that President Trump, if he gets a second term, We'll sort of dial back, for lack of a better term, DEI programs that the Biden administration has put in forth. Um, I, obviously, I know you disagree with that. I obviously believe that you don't want him to get a second term. That said, if that does happen, what do you think that would do to race relations in this country? Well, let me say we're going to win, so it's not going to happen. Um, but I think that, listen, we um, today is actually, I believe, an anniversary in terms of Dr. King, right? Did you not hear what the man asked you? And um, and we, I was just in Selma, and we celebrated, it, well, acknowledged the 59th anniversary of, of Bloody Sunday. I think it's really important that we as Americans always embrace our history, the parts that we're proud of and the parts that we're not. We should all agree that we should teach history, we should learn history, if we're to ever have an accurate idea of where we want to go and where we don't want to go in the future. And that means also acknowledging the importance of diversity. It means acknowledging the importance of, of, of the fact that everyone should have equal opportunity to compete. And You're a dummy, bitch. You will never know shit. Don't nobody want you. Don't nobody need you. This sound like a bunch of BS, a bunch of shit thrown together. And, and equity. And then, of course, inclusion that, you know, hey, let's look around the room and see 
Who's not here? And did we leave the door open? Actually, you did. Yep. Complete <laughs> word salad nonsense. Right there is the top of Kamala Harris's capabilities. All right, guys. I don't want to take too much of his content. I've already got seven minutes, so we're gonna stop that right there. Let me know how you feel about this down in the comments. It's your boy NTB Self Made. I love y'all. Take care of yourself. Peace. Man, I said it with the fuck.